project is a job training program for high school men and women. And the Fund for Women contributes to the project by providing, you know, stipends for some of the girls that go through our program. We had 52 applicants. We had, we were thinking that we had, you know, between 25 and 30 spots. We're able to take on 34 teens total through all of our different funding sources. The program is a 9 to 10 week training program for um, kids in several areas around our building. We have kids in the after school program, which is going to be an elementary summer camp. We have kids in a leadership program, coaching younger kids in a day camp setting. We have kids in the kitchen. We have kids training in the cafes, baristas. We have kids training as cooks, and then we have kids training just as backup staff within a kitchen, you know, to do, do the dishes, to do any prep cooking. Right now we're in the orientation phase, the registration phase, in which we are getting kids pretty much just to fill out all their paperwork because it's a lot of paperwork to do. Get them signed up for their enrichment, get them signed up for financial literacy and put their schedules together so they know what they're doing in three weeks. So we're in that meeting process, yeah. And next week, financial literacy starts officially. It went really well. The atmosphere is really good. The students are really excited to be in there. Um, you know, we learned that we can pay some of the students more through different funding sources as well. So they're excited about that. And um, they're just excited to be in the building. A lot of the teenagers who filled out the applications want to just work in the building in general. We're um, new in the neighborhood, and we just thought this was a gorgeous building and stopped in one day, and um, then went on the internet and, and discovered that they were actually employing teens in the cafe. And I just, I thought that it would be a perfect first step to employment for Josa. It's very impressive to see how everything's coming together. For the amount of paperwork that's going into it, it's, it's, it's pretty smooth, pretty smooth. <laughs> to have a first job and have them kind of mentoring you on how to budget and how to do um, interviews and fill out paperwork is more than I could have ever imagined. It's all going to be worth it. <laughs> You know, being a teenager in high school is a lot more than just working. You can also gain valuable skills during enrichment. So we have kids in a spoken word group, we have kids in um, a book club, a yoga empowerment class, an art class. So it's an opportunity for them to explore another interest of theirs and they get paid to do that. So it's part of their, their curriculum. So they have on the job training, financial literacy, and enrichment. So as part of this exercise we want to do is find out how much per ounce you're buying that jelly for. So if you have jelly of different sizes, you can compare those and you'd be able to decide which one is the better value. It gives you this the opportunity to look at the difference in prices between those items and make sure you can compare them when you go shopping in the future. You're paying for the variety and you're also paying for the packaging. And that's why it's so expensive. Is there anything that you don't like? Do you like either within the job itself? Or I think we should do things? like more team building activities, like so they can trust each other. Oh, I love this job. I think this is an amazing program. I've worked in restaurants since I was their age, and what I'm excited about is helping them to not make all the same mistakes that I made. It's a lot different than you expected. Yeah, yeah. What's the biggest thing that kind of surprised you? I honestly thought it was going to be a little more stressful, and I thought people were going to be meaner. She's a better cook than I was at her age, so, you know, I just wish that there had been something like this for me, like back back then. If you weren't working here this summer, what, what would you be doing? Sitting at home getting fat. So then you appreciate all the other people that I know, I went to McDonald's the other day, and I was like, I appreciate what you're doing right now. It's true. Would you do it again? Yeah. You would. I love it. Yeah, I do too. It's a lot of fun. Are you guys getting anything out of the financial literacy classes that you're doing? Are you learning anything there? Yeah, I'm learning how to like, like get better at what I need to do to have a job. Mm -hmm. I learned how to balance a checkbook. 
and write a check, right? Mm -hmm. Did you know how to write a check before? Mm -hmm. No. I want to be a doctor or a lawyer. I want to be a social worker or a child care worker. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose to be a part of the job club program? Well, I like being around kids and I want to work with kids in my future. It's fun. What we need to do is we need to teach them how to work and how to look at the ingredient and how to understand the ingredient. And the same exists for the all of the programs outside of the kitchen with the child care, with the um, custodial, with everything. You have a method of working, a method of seeing who you are. You, are there certain things that you've learned about yourself through I want to be a pediatrician. <laughs> I can't even say. And then I want to like do a daycare thing like this too. And I want to be one of those social worker people too. And yeah. I want to help kids like at school or just be like a house school social worker. Help with their family and stuff. Them type of social problems. I want to be a social worker that you be in court <laughs> because you get to wear a suit. I want to wear a suit with some heels. 90% of our students are showing up and getting full paychecks every week. What are some suggestions? If you're going to do this program again in the fall or next summer or in the future, longer. what would be longer. some longer? Yeah, I think it was kind of short. The job club, one thing I've been trying to equate into like job club is the dignity of labor and this is something I really want to get behind as far as when we're working with these kids in the cafe and in the kitchen, you know, we have all this connection to like phenomenal produce, phenomenal food, and we put it together in a really great way. Are you going to feel like you have a pretty good idea of how to get a job? Yeah, definitely. In the future, and yeah. you have good skills to put on mm -hmm. your resume? Yeah. yeah. What's like one memory that sticks out for you so far in a job? Yeah. Getting paid. <laughs> yeah, today. <laughs> today was, I'll never forget this day. <laughs>